Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. Um, this is part two of uh, two sequence videos on um, simplifying difference quotients. In part one, we looked at f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And now we're going to do a different version of the difference quotient, f of x minus f of a over x minus a. We're still using the function f of x equals the square root of x squared plus 5. So I'm going to plug in um, x and a to that function to get our numerator. So that's going to be the square root of x squared plus 5 minus the square root of a squared plus 5 over x minus a. So later on when taking limits of difference quotients, it's going to be important to us to get this x minus a factor in the denominator to cancel so we can evaluate um, certain limits. So um, what you're going to see in my math lab is they don't want you to leave the answer like this. They want you to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. So when I'm talking about conjugates, I'm referring to binomials. For example, the binomial a plus b has a conjugate a minus b. The significance of conjugates, which are binomials that have the same two terms with a different sign in the middle, is that they multiply to give you a difference of squares. And so if we multiply a radical expression like this one, uh, by its conjugate, we're going to end up canceling out those radicals. So let's try it. We're going to multiply by the square root of x squared plus 5 plus the square root of a squared plus 5. But we have to do it in both the numerator and denominator so we don't change the value of the expression. Now when we multiply the numerators together, a is going to be our x squared plus 5 square root, and b is going to be the square root of a squared plus 5, so we're going to be squaring those square roots. Square root of x squared plus 5 squared minus the square root of a squared plus 5 squared. And in the denominator, we're just going to have x minus a times square root x squared plus 5 plus the square root of a squared plus 5. We're not going to distribute that because we're, our goal is really to cancel this x minus a factor, and so leaving it in factored form is a good idea. All right, now the square root and the squares cancel, leaving us with x squared plus 5 minus, again, square roots and squares cancel. We're subtracting the whole thing, so make sure and leave that in your parentheses until you distribute the negative. And in the denominator, we have x minus a. And so on. And now in the numerator, I'm going to distribute the negative. So I have x squared plus 5 minus a squared minus 5. The 5's cancel. And hopefully you can see where we're going next right because in the numerator we now have a difference of squares which factors so x squared minus a squared factors into x minus a x plus a so that's going to help us because our goal was to get rid of that factor of x minus a So dividing out these equal 1, and your final answer would be x plus a over that big expression with the two square roots. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. Every time you give it a thumbs up, that helps other students to find the video.